Our first stop's a Nashville neighborhood where Susan Eady spends her work days playing with clay. Call that working? Well, yeah, in a way. You see, Susan successfully uses her talent, imagination, and skilled hands to create illustrations that are appreciated by young audiences around the country. There, what do you think? What do you mean, what is it? It's an elephant. All right, maybe I don't have what it takes to be a clay illustrator professionally, but, oh, what's a clay illustrator? Now, I'm glad you asked that. Illustration itself is interpreting a story. I just use the medium of clay to execute that illustration. Susan Eady is an artist who uses three-dimensional clay sculptures to create imaginative, brilliantly colored illustrations, mostly for children's books and magazines. It's an intriguing process that entails artistic skills in drawing, sculpting with polymer and modeling clay, and finally photography. The results have been seen and appreciated in a long list of books, periodicals, advertising, catalogs, and more. You could say it all began when she was a child growing up in Florida. When I was five years old, I drew a chicken in kindergarten, and I was so proud of that rooster. I brought it home to my mom, and she loved it, and she framed it and hung it in our kitchen. That was a pivotal moment. That was when I thought, I might want to be an artist when I grow up. After college, Susan used her artistic talents in educational book publishing, and for several years, she was art director for RCA Records Nashville, even earning a Grammy nomination. But despite those successes, she often had a burning desire to return to the principal passions of her school years. There were two things that I loved. I mean, I loved art, and I had, and still do have, a real passion for books. So for me, that was the best of all possible worlds, to be able to combine art with books. Uh, in addition to that, I also was fascinated with clay. When Susan left RCA, she created her own little company, Clay Things Illustration. With every assignment, be it a book, magazine, or whatever, she has a lot of work to do before putting her fingers into that clay. The first thing I do when I am given an assignment, I, I do my research because you don't know what a fox looks like until you, you know, have a picture of it or, uh, or do your research. So I do my research and then I do thumbnail sketches and gradually refine them and refine them until I get a final sketch. So after I have my final sketch, I send that to my client and we work back and forth um, to make sure that it's what they're looking for and you know, I make any changes that they want in the sketch stage. Then I get to start on the clay. It's obvious in her finished works that color plays a key role in bringing to life all her characters and other elements. Coming up with the, the palette, the color palette, is always one of the biggest challenges for me. Color makes a difference in the mood of a piece. That's one reason that I color my sketches in, usually before I start the clay, because it's so much easier to make changes with colored pencil than it is in, in clay. The clay itself is pretty much the same stuff we played with as kids. For Susan, the right color and consistency are essential before she can perform her magic with it. They make about 10 colors of clay, so I mix all of my mini colors. So I put together my palette, then I just start layering piece after piece after piece. When she's satisfied with the results of every little detail, it's time to capture the clay illustration in another medium for print. 
collection. I take it and I photograph it in my studio. And then after I've photographed it, I take that digital file from my camera and I put that into my computer and I get the file ready for my client in Photoshop. Susan's creations are the result of a lot of creative steps before they can finally be photographed, but to her making each one a success can be summed up in one little word, fun. If I can impart that sense of fun and that whimsy and that sense of play, then I think the kids can see that. Speaking of kids, she makes frequent visits to schools to share her talents with youngsters at different grade levels and teach them how to craft their own book illustrations. If it's a school uh, nearby, I can actually bring some clay artwork for them to see. And that, I love getting to be with the kids and I love getting to see um, the effect that my work has on them. I mean, that really is, that's probably the most satisfying uh, part of my job. While her artistic plate stays pretty full these days, Susan Edie aspires someday to write and illustrate her own series of books. To stay on track, well, she knows she must never lose that sense of joy that came from that rooster drawing many years ago. If I can make it fun for me, then it's going to be fun for somebody else, I think. I try to always stay in touch with that kid in here. <laughs>